Okay guys, this is gonna be tips and tricks to get the most powerful pickaxe. You can at different levels, it doesn't matter what level you are, you will be able to get a strong pickaxe as you possibly can. So make sure you have go over to command, go down to profile, no not profile, go heroes, then go hero loader. It's you should have an outline that uh, Pathfinder Jess in the first slot or any Pathfinder uh, Outlander and then have any Pathfinder out or uh, preferably Pathfinder Jess because I'm not sure if any of the other ones have as their support squad bonus work work um, so yeah and then go over to upgrades go to tools and then it should say pickaxe upgrade uh, upgrade the, to as max as you can and then upgrade the rest how you want it and stuff um, and then go over to whatever map you want I'm in Kenny Valley so I'm going to go over to Kenny Valley and to collect uh, like mechanical parts nuts and bolts go to industrial parks or cities for nuts and bolts, I usually go to industrial parks, but for uh, mechanical parts, I go to Ride the Lightning. Suburbs is more like trees and just general houses. So we're going to be going to Ride the, uh, the Ride the Lightning the city, in the city. Make sure if you're gonna farm, you have your privacy on private. You can change by just pressing the options button on PS4, going down to privacy, pressing X on it, and pressing X on private and then press triangle to apply exit our luck go into whatever mission you want Lars is standing by to gather storm there you go so once you band. guys have done that you are able to easily break stuff so my pickaxe does 300 damage as the crit and when it when I get the in the zone ability Sorry, I just had to sneeze. When you get the in the zone ability, it'll mine will put up to 205 for a basic, and for a crit, it'll be 411. This is a mimic there, so I'm not gonna open it. And then you can easily dash over, use your uh, punch for stronger objects. Uh, cars give you mainly. Uh, what is it? sturdy and metal and stuff and then these things here always grab them because they give you nuts and bolts so yeah, i just got nine basically anything that's made out of metal can give you nuts and bolts or sturdy like some things can like these can so yeah, i just got sturdy you can get nuts and bolts from them you can get simple you can get rusty anything but because i'm in kenny again you can get i get sturdy the little fire hydrants don't give them to you. Uh, they can give you nuts and bolts. Uh, these poles don't give them to you. So just mainly look for these cars. When you're in industrial places, there'll be like these different mechanical work things around the place. Just use your punch to destroy all of them. I got like, I went to one of them and I saw there was like a bunch of them and I just went bang. I punched and I got like almost a hundred, I think I got like 133 nuts and bolts from it. So you can get a lot of nuts and bolts from doing, from just farming. So yeah, I just got a simp, uh, rusty. Cause if you search stuff in high level missions, you're able to get lower level stuff. So yeah, I just got another rusty, another rusty. And when you pull out your guns, uh, the in the zone ability will disappear But if you use any of your like abilities or anything It stay like it's Stays there you can build and everything To get the in the zone you just have to hit an object five times and you get the in the zone ability But the in the zone ability only works with pathfinders. I'm pretty sure I think it works with some others, but pathfinders are the best for Material gathering if you're using a pickaxe. See how I'm using all these abilities. It's still good in the zone. 
So yeah guys, that was a video on how to get the best possible pickaxe for your level. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to chuck a sub, uh, like the video.